light affects us in three significant ways. First, it impacts our daily vision. It induces glare or scatter and visual blur. A great example of this is the new LED headlights that you see on cars. These lights emit a high amount of blue light and induce a very annoying visual glare. Second, the constant exposure to blue light, particularly in the evening hours, can disrupt our body's natural circadian rhythms. The circadian rhythms control our sleep-wake cycles, and they are very sensitive to blue light. Blue light inhibits the production of melatonin in the brain. This helps us to feel alert and energized during the daylight hours, when natural blue light is present in the sunlight. At night, the absence of natural blue light should lead to a production of melatonin and help us feel ready to sleep. However, we now spend hours every day staring at computer screens and other sources of artificial blue light, and we have artificial blue light in our nighttime environments. That can severely impact our ability to sleep and sleep deeply. And, of course, sleep deprivation can lead to a host of other wellness issues, particularly in children. Finally, exposure to blue light may lead to vision loss. As we have already reviewed, it can have a contributory effect on AMD patients, but it can also impact post-cataract patients. One of the side effects of cataract surgery is that when we remove the patient's lens, we also remove their natural protection from blue light, which is known as the ocular lens pigment, or OLP. These are not just marketing claims. The science for this discussion is well documented in a number of independent, peer-reviewed articles, such as those listed here. If you would like to review the abstracts of these articles, please let us know, and we will provide them for you.